Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question we are digging with the question. And today we are picking this question up from the topic of JW mains. So this was presented in the year 2023. And if I talk about the question here, the question as tells to us that integral of root of sec 2x minus 1 dx that is equal to alpha log to the base e cos 2x plus beta plus root of cos 2x and 1 plus cos x plus. So this is the entire expression given to us. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, question tells us that we need to find the value of beta minus alpha in this question. And the four options which are given to us here, they tell us A is 0, B is half, C is 1 and D is minus. So we need to figure out which of the following four options is correct. Let's first understand how to solve this expression. So if I try to solve this integral root of set x minus 1 dx, I can write that entire expression as sec theta, I can write that sec theta as 1 upon cos theta. So if I write it in that terms, I get this 1 upon cos 2x minus 1 dx. If I further solve it, we get this root of 1 minus cos 2x upon cos 2x yes. so that is the entire expression we have here now if i further try to solve it what i can see here is that numerator has 1 minus cos 2x so if i try to convert it or simplify this expression what i can do here is first step i understand is to rationalize this entire expression given to me so I'll multiply both sides by conjugate of the numerator that is 1 minus cos 2x. So if I write it in terms of 1 plus cos 2x here, I get this 1 minus cos 2x. So 1 minus cos 2 theta, if I use the idea of double angle, it is 2 sine square theta. 1 plus cos 2 theta, that is given to me as 2 cos square theta divided by Denominator we have cos 2x and we have 1 plus cos 2x. Now if I further write it, I can write this entire expression as 2 sin x cos x. So I, instead of the x, we have written theta, so x. 2 sin square x cos x, the whole square. So 2 square is 4, we have here 4 adjusted sin square x and cos 2. Just writing it in terms of the spread. Here we have cos 2x and 1 plus cos 2x. Dx. 2 sin x cos x, I can just write that as sin 2 theta. So here I am writing that as sin 2x squared cos 2x. And we have here 1 plus cos 2x. Now if I just use the idea of substitution here in the integral, I can write that as put cos 2x as t. So once I put cos 2x as t, I know derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So I get minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x, which is 2, dx equal to dt. From here, I understand sin 2x dx is equal to minus dt. Get this substitution here. Now if I just solve this idea, I get this integral if I try to simplify it first, root of sin 2x the whole square, that is sin 2x upon root of cos 2x into 1 plus cos 2x dx. 
So if I'm now using the ID of substitution, we just substituted cos 2x as t. So I get this one for root of cos 2x, so t, and 1 plus t. And if I'm writing sin 2x dx, I already have the idea with that sin 2x dx is minus dt. So you get it from here that it is minus dt. So your expression becomes minus half integral of dt root of t into 1 plus t, that is t square plus t. Now if I try to convert it in terms of a perfect square, I know that whenever you want to find the third term of a perfect square, that is given by half into coefficient of x. So in this, it is t. So half into coefficient of t, that is 1, the whole square. Get that as 1 by 4. So when I get the third term 1 by 4, I'll add 1 by 4 and I'll subtract 1 by 4. So if I do that, my expression becomes minus half integral dt root of this becomes t square plus t plus 1 by 4. So if I take this three terms so as I can write that in terms of the whole square as t plus half the whole square minus 1 by 4 which is again half the whole square. So what I understand from this is this is of the form integral 1 upon root of x square minus e square and that is equal to 1 by 2a log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus. So we get this entire expression. Now let's just put that in the integral and solve it. So you get it minus half integral dt upon root of this entire thing. I can write that as 1 upon 2a. So 1 upon 2a is 1 upon 2 into half log the base e x so x in this case is t plus half plus root of x square minus a square so x square minus a square was this entire thing which we had that was t plus half the whole square minus half square and we already know the simplified form of that that was this and that was further simplified as this so basically this was the entire expression and we tried to convert it to both expressions so instead of writing root of x square minus a square, I can just write that as root of t into 1 plus t because I need it to be in that form plus. Now if I just substitute, again, okay, resubstitute t, we substituted cos 2x as t. So if I'm using the idea of resubstituting, I can just resubstitute t as cos 2x. And if I resubstitute, I get this value of the integral minus half 1 upon 1 into log to the base e. This makes it cos 2x plus half plus root of t which was cos 2x into 1 plus cos 2x plus c. So we got this entire expression here. Now if I I have this entire expression with me and if I just equate that with the idea which was given to us in the question that's a integral of root of sec 2x minus 1 dx is equal to we were given alpha log of the base e cos 2x plus beta plus root of cos 2x and 1 plus cos 1 by beta x plus constant c. So if I just equate these two ideas now, I know alpha is minus half into 1, which is minus half. So alpha becomes minus half here. And if I equate this idea also here, beta, it is half from this part. Here also if I equate because there is the same idea given 1 by beta is equal to 2. So here also I get from this idea beta is equal to half. So from both these ideas, you are getting alpha is minus half and beta is half. Once we have them, beta minus alpha turns up. Half minus minus half. Half plus half, that's equal to so beta minus alpha turns out. And if I see the option here which matches with the question, 
that is options. So C is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on indefinite integration, which we have to use the idea of host rationalizing the numerator. Once we understood that, we can just substitute cos 2x as t, then we can easily solve the entire integral. So we get these values of alpha and beta. So alpha becomes minus half. Beta becomes half. So overall, you get beta minus alpha as I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JW paints. So we'll continue this. Stay tuned. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of 11, 12, as well as JW paints. Thank you.